All right, this one's going to be on WeGo. It's a terminal weather app, and you need to set up your configurations, but after you set it up, this is how you will use it. Just type in WeGo, and by default, I set up to use, um, what is that, North Hollywood as a city of the United States here, and it's really not that hard to give you a forecast of, um, by default, three days here. So we have Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, and they have each day, they have morning, noon, uh, evenings and night and they even give you um, a little ASCII art of that so you can see that it has like sunny picture here this one's like cloudy and so on and so forth if you have like rain they'll show you rain um, let me give you an example if you want to change your location because right now we're in uh, North Hollywood right of the United States but if you want to change it on the fly from the command line you can do we go and let's say we want two days only, so two days. And um, we're going to do, let's say, London, uh, London, England of the UK here. Right. Um, you can see that this one is raining, right? And this one over here is kind of cloudy and all that, so on and so forth. So it gives you the same information, but now it even has like the, the words for it. So it says patchy rain, you know, patchy rain, uh, sunny. And overcast so on and so forth now under that it says uh, the uh, degrees so right now it's uh, 51 to 57 uh, you know Fahrenheit here uh, even have the wind speed so this one's it's um, 17 to 19 miles per hour and they even give you the directions here too and this one uh, from what I read it's the right, right now it says six miles but uh, this one is the they call it the viewing distance not sure what the fuck that means and here, this is uh, participation, or the, yeah, like how many, um, you know, inches of rain that'll uh, generate based on your uh, your weather that you have. And this one is your probability, the chances of rain that you'll get or that weather conditions that you have. So on and so forth. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can always change it to other places. All you gotta do is just name it out. So let's say you wanna do like a, Dubai, right? Then I'll show me Dubai, which is always fucking sunny and hot. Um, let's say we do um, Tokyo, Japan, and over there is raining too, light rain, right? Uh, so that's pretty much it if you want to do from the command line. Otherwise, you can set it up to uh, you know just use your default configurations of your. Um, your city that you want to use. Um, as far as for setting this up, um, the first thing they want you to do is run WeGo one time. And the first time will give you like an error because it will generate a uh, configuration file for you. And inside your configuration file, you can use uh, either Vim or Nano to edit or whatever. Right? It's just in your um, home folder dot WeGo RC. And inside it, you have these three lines. And here you need to actually register for an API key. Um, on the weather website in your city you want to use you know whatever city you want and Imperial here if you're in the US you want to set it to true because that will give you um, Fahrenheit and miles per hour and miles and all that if you're like outside the US you use the other um, units um, you want to set it to false because they use uh, Celsius and kilometers and all that shit anyways that's what you gotta do for um, you know your configurations here uh, as far as for API you need to sign up um, at this website here it's just called uh, worldweatheronline.com and this is where you get your API you sign up for an account here so you can use it with uh, github or Facebook to uh, register or you can do it manually you know a regular email and they'll give you a key and that key will give you um, I think five refreshes per minute uh, and a thousand refreshes per day that you can access the API and all that pretty much it that's the program in a nutshell you have this pretty thing I actually like this one over some of the other ones I've tried um, you know for the weather app uh, this one is by far um, the prettiest looking one that I enjoy using anyways that's the program uh, go try it out if you need to